is Emmanuel Ochieng, and I'm a musician. I grew up Adventist, basically grew up in a home where we went to church every Saturday. Uh, but I got to know Christ for myself when I was in high school. Um, this was in Form 1, Form 2. Um, and how it happened was that I started reading a lot of books um, that were lying around in the classroom. I got them from friends, and one of them was on prophecy, um, you know, dealing with I think there was a San Francisco earthquake. Um, and I remember thinking, ah, oh, this writer, I, I've seen her name somewhere um, at home growing up. I never knew um, who this was really. But that was the beginning of many other books uh, by many other writers. And coincidentally, most of them were Adventist writers. Um, so through reading those books, you know, I was just convicted that God is working um, through His people and especially that His Word, whatever He says will happen, does come true. Um, so through reading those books, I got the conviction that, you know, um, I need to change my life um, in various aspects, you know, just Simple things like, um, you know, not loving the world. I know before I got to high school, I was really into fashion and I would spend a lot of money just, you know, saving up to look good. So that was one of the aspects that I was convicted on quite early. Um, just simplicity in life in whatever aspect I, I was convinced that, you know, the beauty of life is in the little things just you know, spend quiet time with the Lord, um, help others, those kinds of things. Um, do not strive to be better than others, though you should do your best in whatever you do. So those were the things that for me, got me started on my Christian journey. Um, and so that was, you know, like a period of four years of reading. And I think what also helped me was, you know, the evening sessions were really quiet because you had to be in class from seven till 10. So I'd spend almost every evening, you know, studying something and writing down whatever I learned. Um, so that helped me, you know, to grow in the faith, I'd say. And um, at the end of Form 4, we had a, was it a week of prayer, you know, um, and then there was baptism. So that's when I'd, I decided that you know, since I already know about the Lord, then I'll, I'll get baptized. And that's how I joined the church officially. And for me, salvation means, number one, being convicted through the Holy Spirit that how you're living is not the right way. It's not the best way and you ought to change, realizing that it is difficult, if not impossible, to do it on your own, um, and acknowledging that you're going to need Christ to uh, follow Him faithfully um, throughout the rest of your life, as long as you strive to consistently follow Him, depend on Him, knowing that He's interceding on your behalf, then you will be okay. Join us at Karen Community SDA Church Camp Meeting and let your heart be inspired. The camp meeting will take place on the 10th to 17th August 2024 and the theme is Salvation Simplified. Don't miss this opportunity to recharge your spirit and renew your faith. Are you a lover of music? We got you covered. The Vine will be gracing our camp meeting with heavenly voices and harmonies. This coming August, we will be in Kenya, and we can't wait to be there, guys. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. yeah! It is a time to reconnect with God. 
grow in faith and create cherished moments with fellow believers. For more info, visit our website at www.sdaskc.org. Do you want to know how your salvation will be simplified? All you need to do is show up.